Time to go book shopping. Guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Zach with Zach's Books, and welcome back to Zachtober. We are near the end of it. Um, I don't remember how many come shop with me's we've done up to this point, anyway. But uh, we're doing another one. So, going to a new half price book that we have not been to in a little while, and so to see what spooky stuff they have at this location. We'll do a book haul at the end, or just a haul in general, because might find some movies. You never know. Um, but yeah, um, we're nearing the end of it. Um, it's very exciting stuff. Um, we're exhausted. Yeah, I know. And my, my throat hurts. It's very fun. And uh, we're going to just keep on keeping on. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys at the bookstore. We get in that? Uh, probably. It's a classic. store haven't even gone to any of the sections and we've already got like way too much and i'm seeing a dvd collection right now that i want and i know that's not gonna happen so yikes
only $4. Uh, that's a win. Now we just gotta find yours. <laughs> Here, let me look. I forgot the title of it. Bird Box Hardcover. What are you looking at? I'm just re looking at Phantoms. The hardcover that you found. Anything else? Um, no. We gotta go to Goose, so. Let's go. Alright, we are by the Goosebump section. There's nothing worth noting, um, except for this. Do you own that? I do have this one, mm. um, but it is hard to find, so. Maybe it's a pango book. No, it's not. We're not gonna do that. I have too much, we have too much stuff in our cart right now. So. We still have so much to list on pango. <laughs> yeah, I know. At this point, it's just all rumors. Yeah. I don't know. All right, well, I don't know where else there is to look at, but. Uh, Movies has definitely hit the spot today. Yes, and you'll see that in the hall, so. Um, yeah, I think we're uh, gonna probably check out, see what's behind the counter. What are you looking at? Um, some clinical probes. I have a Zoe proof. All right, guys, we just got home. We picked up some food after we were done shopping. Um, I've got some stuff here that I'm going to show you. Danielle has got some things that she found that she's really excited about, and she'll show you that either on her channel or maybe I'll just feature it on a big book haul. I think we're going to do that as one of our next videos that we have here. So um, got a couple of VHSs um, and some other stuff, and I'm going to start off with this one. Young Frankenstein, a Mel Brooks film. So this is a movie I actually have not seen. It has Gene Wilder in it, and he is an iconic actor. Also, Mel Brooks is uh, the guy who did Spaceballs, and I think that movie is hilarious. So maybe, well, it's on VHS, so I guess you can't watch it, but nice little collector's item for a horror room. And another VHS to go into the horror room is Jaws. Obviously, you know what this is. I like the movie a heck of a lot better than I like the book. If you know, you know. If you've been a long fan of my channel, you know that reading vlog I had. Um, yeah, another thing for the horror room. Really cool addition to it. Um, and then we have The Thing, um, which this is, I believe, the original, like, The Thing. This is from the 50s. Um, it looks really cool. At least the cover kind of does. Um I thought it was called The Thing From Another World or The Thing From Another Planet. I thought that was the original title. I could be mistaken, though. Um, but, yeah, no, this is a really cool uh, edition that Danielle found when we were looking at VHSs. So I figured we'd get it because it's iconic as hell. And it looks really cool, too. So The Thing. Another VHS we found was this edition of Carrie which I thought I might have had, but um, we got home and I looked, and I do not have this edition of Carrie and VHS. So a really cool edition to have. Iconic imagery on the front. I mean, it just looks really cool. And, uh, yeah, had to get it. Stephen King, duh. Um, now on to the stuff that I found that I'm really excited about. We found a DVD of Salem's Lot, the original from, I think it was the 80s? No, 70s. 1979. So I have not read, or I read this book. I did not watch this version of Salem's Lot. I watched the other one um, with, uh, I cannot think of the actor's name who's in it. But um, I watched that one as opposed to this. And it's a really cool thing to find. I have it on VHS, but not DVD. So had to get it. And then if you watch the last one we had, we found two Goosebumps VHSs. And Danielle found a third. We now have The Haunted Mask. Um... 
I think I'm missing four. Uh, I'm not going to name them or list them off right now because I can't remember them besides the Haunted Mask 2 and... Yeah, no. We're missing a few more. So we're on the hunt for them. Uh, also, my dad is looking for one that we're missing too at my house. So, dad, if you find it, let me know. Uh, but, yeah, really cool. Love this. And it's an iconic image as well. So, um, then the last thing we found. Okay, I've been looking for a hardcover edition of this book for a fat minute. And Danielle has found it. Phantoms by Dean Koontz. Don't ask me why I've been on such a big hunt for this hardcover book. Maybe because it's the only one I've read by Dean Kuhn so far. Um, but I just like really like this cover. I'm drawn to it for some reason. No idea why. Uh, I believe it's a book club edition, but it doesn't say so. But uh, yes, very good book. Um, and I'm glad Danielle found it. So thanks, babe. Um, but yeah, that is a haul of what we found in this Come Shop With Me. Um, there's nothing to link down below because I don't know if we'll ever find anything like this. So, um, but yeah, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in tomorrow's episode of Zocktober. Later.